you want to can you give us some kind of a general sense of where you are how, how it started and what your concern was uh, I mean I've Still waiting to, to see what we got. I mean, we've had it like that multiple times. Nothing glaring or points to what's going on. So I, I can't really give too much until I've got a whole picture of everything. I mean, you guys can ask the same question over and over. But uh, yeah, as of right now, I, I got nothing new to share about it. Jack, was it something that came up just one pitch, or was it something that was building over over time? Uh, it had been, you know, a little bit of discomfort since the end of the end of last season, but. Um, no, just something that, that you know, we worked through, kept kept working at, kept getting you know kind of up and down. Uh, but we just came here. They just they just they wanted to get another look at it. You know, they, we haven't seen them. You know, the lockout made things you know yeah. difficult to to have any type of communication, or really any communication at all. Mm -hmm. So they, they just wanted to get another look at it. You know, I came in, you know, saw docs and everything. So it's just their first look at me, and they just want to get another look. Mm -hmm. What were you able to do this winter, this off season? Was it pretty standard for you? Uh, yeah, it was pretty normal. I mean, it was a pretty normal off season, um, but again, you know, I just I was able to, you know, have a good enough relationship to communicate certain things with them, and yeah. you know, the lockout made things, uh, you know, a certain way where we, we when we got in, they just you know want to do their job and, and get another look. That's what Alex said that you know his shoulder was still hurting from last season, but for 99 days you couldn't talk to him. Did, was that the case with you at all, where maybe you couldn't let them know that you were having some discomfort? I we I couldn't talk to them at all. Yeah. So yeah. it's that's uh, that's just the case that, that it was. Um, yeah, but, but you know, like I said, once I got here, they just wanted to. You know, we communicated, we talked, we, we gone over everything, but you know, there's nothing new right now. Jack, is there a comparison to draw between how you felt last year when you came back from the oblique versus now? Is that a parallel? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't compare. I wouldn't compare anything. Okay. Um, you know, everything is, is its own thing. Um, you know, but I, I do everything I can to, to be ready to go and to uh, you know put myself through everything I possibly could this off season. But again, it was just something I came in and then they wanted to get a look at it. They haven't had, we haven't been able to have, have their hands on me at all you know, or talk or communicate. So, so more. You know, Nobody so knows how you feel more than you. Are you worried or do you think it's just mild or? I, I'm it? not gonna know anything until they they come back with anything. Yeah. No. Gotcha. Have you had anything like this before in the past? Yeah, I've been there till last year, so the answer is no. Any plans to get like a second opinion? No, we're, we're like I said, man, we're waiting until we get whatever we hear back in the next few hours. Zach, were you able to throw off a mound this summer? Or did you, did you, were you trying to build, you know, obviously build up your your throws before camp? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're still just waiting to, to hear what we got. So before coming here, did you? Throw off an hour. Still waiting to hear what we got. Did you say a few hours? Uh, I mean, it, it'll. I. I don't think it'll be very long, but I'm just waiting to find out, see what we got. But so far, nothing new. Jed, what's your relationship been like with Ali? Uh, you know, a guy who's kind of been groomed for this for years. A lot of people always thought he was going to be a manager. What, what have you seen on him you know, from afar? Love Ali. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he was uh, was here with him in 2016. Um, it's funny, he's, he's just a good guy, easy to communicate with. You know, he uh, he's honest. We, we've got a very good relationship, you know, where we can be very honest with each other and, and we just have communication. So that's that's one of the most important things that, that we have is, uh, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to have him and, and have him, you know, be around and, uh, you know, have him manage this ball club. Jack, what are your expectations for teammate Dakota Hudson this year? Jack's going to do his thing. You know, I don't go in and, have number expectations or anything. Dex is going to go in, and go out and do his thing, and I'm sure he'd tell you the same thing. He's he's uh he's put a lot of work over the last two years to to, to, be, to go out there and you know, make 35, 40 starts. You know, I say 40 for however deep we go in the playoffs. It's, it's kind of uh, where you end up at. Do, do you, I guess do you sense? Are you excited that this could be a, a next step season for him if he stays healthy? I I'm excited for him. Um, just to be able to go out and compete. You know, I know how hard he's worked. I know how hard that guy works and, and what he puts in there his days. He's one of those guys that you can count on to put in the work to be ready to go and uh, do everything he possibly can. So you know, I'm excited for him. Jack, does the shortened camp change anything for you as, as far as, you know, getting ready for the season or? No, we're going to we're, we're gonna work day in, day out, you know, put in all the work that I possibly can, um, put in all the work I possibly can this off season and mm -hmm. just continues in the spring.
you think 15 games is enough for you to be ready to be there opening day? What do you mean? You guys have a 15 game schedule. I think what is it? I mean, I'm gonna give the days? same answer that I've uh, given. Of, I don't know anything until we hear. Okay. I know you've just been back. through a schedule before, so you know all it takes to get an arm ready. That's yeah. why I asked. But uh, we're still waiting to, to hear back. Uh, I mean, I, I feel pretty good about things, but I won't know until we, uh, until we hear back. Jack Ali said, you know, every team this time of year has optimism. He said, but when he talked to guys, they were saying, it's World Series, you know, this team needs to get the World Series, that you have enough to get there. When you look around the room, is that kind of your feeling? I mean, I think it'd be, I think every team, everybody would be selling themselves short if they didn't think that. Mm -hmm. They're going to go into a season, just be like, yeah, we're going to make the playoffs, and that, that's a, it's a, mm -hmm. a plus. It's yeah. just it's not, that's kind of not the way these guys operate. It's not really the way anybody should operate, thinking mm -hmm. that, oh, yeah, playoffs is good enough, or competing is good enough. Or, no, I mean, you don't want to go into a season and be like, yeah, you know, we want to, we want to get to the division series and mm -hmm. get to the, the you know, and I'll see like yeah. those are horrible goals to have. Yeah.